In the 1990s, when Hillary Clinton was talking about gang violence, she used the term super predator, which is a racially loaded term. It's basically a euphemism for black youth. Uh, and it's now coming out of the woodworks. A lot of people are seeing it, and it's really controversial. Uh, I'm going to play the clip of her saying that. I'm just showing you that she said the word. If you want the full context of what she was talking about, I'll put a link in the description box. But here's what she said. Not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. Now here's why this word is offensive. So due in part to the increase in crime and arrest trends, in part to the media obsession with juvenile violence, the phrase juvenile super predator entered the public consciousness. Juvenile super predators were characterized as ruthless sociopaths Youth with no moral conscience who see crime as a rite of passage, who are unconcerned about the consequences of their actions. Some even argued that this new breed of offender had different DNA than their predecessors. The argument went that violent juvenile crime was increasing and would continue to increase because this small group of juvenile super predators commits more vicious crimes with higher frequency than delinquents of past generations. The supporters of this argument concluded that the rehabilitative approach of the juvenile justice system was wasted on these youth because their natures were largely unchangeable. Deficiencies of earlier generations were attributed to factors that could be changed with appropriate intervention Conventions, but this new breed of juvenile super predator was so disturbed that change was unlikely. As a result, rehabilitation would be ineffectual. Protecting the public from these vicious juvenile criminals became the primary concern of juvenile justice policy makers. So when people talk about the super predator, they're referring to black youth and it's a myth. There's no such thing as a super predator. It's a way to dehumanize black children, uh, and it's just something used to make white people afraid of black people. It's bullshit. Now, given the fact that Hillary Clinton used this term, Ashley Morrison, a protester, paid 500 bucks to get into a private Hillary Clinton speaking gig, and what she did was hold up a sign of what Hillary Clinton said, and she wanted to confront Hillary Clinton for her use of this term, and she also wanted to confront Hillary Clinton about her role in mass incarceration. Take a look. There's more work to be done, but got to lay down these markers. You got to build toward uh, common sense uh, gun reform, criminal justice uh, uh, reform, and all the like. So I think we've got a very, uh, I think we've got somebody saying here, we have we to want you bring to them apologize for mass to incarceration. Heal. Okay, we'll talk I'm about it. I'm not a super predator, Hillary Clinton. Okay, fine, we'll talk can about you it. you apologize to black people for mass incarceration? Well, can I talk? And then maybe you can listen to what I say. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Um, there's a lot of issues, a lot of issues in this campaign. The very first speech that I gave back in April was about criminal justice reform and about predators. You're being rude. That's not appropriate. This is not appropriate. Yeah, you want to hear the facts and just want to talk. I know that you okay. called black youth super predators in 1994. Let, 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 please explain the record. Explain it to us. You owe a black girl an apology. Well, excuse us. That's an inappropriate statement. If you will give me a chance to talk, I'll talk to your side. You know what? Nobody's ever asked me before. You're the first person to ask me, and I'm happy to address it, but you are the first person to ask me here. Um, okay. Back to the issues. Thank you. Uh, the issue is that I... Now that is what you call a bad way to handle the situation. So I don't know if you caught that, but she's saying, I'm happy to address your concerns as she watches Ashley get escorted out. Are you really happy to address her concerns? Because if so, you wouldn't watch her leave. You would say, no, stop. You tell the Secret Service to let her stay there, but you were happy to let them uh, escort her out. So apparently you weren't happy to address her concerns. And the most egregious part came at the last moment there. I don't know if you caught it, but she said, now we can get back to the issues. Now you can get back to the issues? The crowd treated her absolutely terribly, and of course they didn't want to hear what an African-American had to say because this is what they look like. It's all rich white people who were there at this event. But this is a real issue, and Hillary Clinton played a role in mass incarceration, so I think that Ashley deserves an explanation. Now here's what Ashley said and why this individual decided to do this protest. I wanted to bring her to confront her own words. 
we did this because we wanted to make sure that black people are paying attention to her record and we want to know what Hillary we are getting. Hillary Clinton has a pattern of throwing the black community under the bus when it serves her politically. She called our boy super predators in 96. Then she race baited when running against Obama in 2008. Now she's a lifelong civil rights activist. I just want to know which Hillary is running for president. The one from 96, 08, or the new Hillary? Now, within the next 24 hours, the hashtag which Hillary began trending on Twitter and it became the number one trending topic. It basically forced Hillary Clinton to respond and here's what she had to say. In that speech, I was talking about the impact violent crime and vicious drug cartels were having on communities across the country and the particular danger they posed to children and families. Looking back, I shouldn't have used those words and I wouldn't use them today. Now, was that a satisfactory response? Well, according to Ashley Williams, no. Here's her response back. Apology not accepted. Statement from activists who challenged Hillary Clinton on race last night. Last night, I confronted Hillary Clinton with her own words. She used those words to frighten the nation with dog whistle racism by referring to at-risk youth as super predators. While Clinton's choice of words in that speech were racist and offensive, it is the impact of the policies that she vigorously championed that should give us all pause. She owes the nation an apology for using her position of power to enact criminal justice policies which have been roundly denounced as failures. Here's the truth. The Clinton legacy has left our prisons bursting at the seams. Real lives have been destroyed as a result. It is an indisputable fact that millions of black people were locked up for drug crimes and provided the bodies for the expansion of the prison industry. The 1994 crime bill that she so vigorously defended not only expanded incarceration, but stripped funding for college education from prisoners. The Clinton legacy allowed for policies that prevented anyone convicted of a felony drug offense from receiving food stamps or income assistance. Clinton-led welfare reform fundamentally ripped apart the social safety net. Hillary Clinton did not misspeak. She acted vigorously to support policies that that this country now struggles to undo. She must own her role in the political disaster that befell black communities as a result. Make no mistake, Hillary Clinton's efforts to push these policies resulted in continued destruction of black communities and the swift growth of our mass incarceration crisis. I held Hillary Clinton responsible for this damage, and that is what she owes black communities an apology for. Now here's the bad part. That hashtag I told you about, which Hillary? Deleted off Twitter. Now the account that started this hashtag, Gorilla Dems, banned. That's right. Twitter shut down this hashtag. And do you want to know why? See, the executive chairman of Twitter, Omid Kordestani, just did a fundraiser for Hillary Clinton. So we need to push back and we need to continue with this hashtag. We got to get it trending again because... I don't think that Hillary Clinton's answer was satisfactory, and neither does Ashley. This is just all around really troubling. But in the end, getting back to the story, kudos to Ashley. Phenomenal job. Uh, right there with you. Thanks for watching The Humanist Report. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out at humanistreport.com.